1,500 years ago, El Salvador was the realm of the Maya, an ancient civilization that stretched across Central America. Azan is a Mayan farmer. For countless generations, the ancestors of Azan have cultivated this soil. But Azan's hold on his land is precarious. His family's existence is subject to the whim of forces beyond any man's control. Beneath the still waters of Lake Ilopango is a caldera, one of the most extreme and powerful kinds of volcanoes known to modern science. Just three miles beneath the lake sits the magma chamber, a reservoir of molten rock where pressure builds until an eruption is triggered. The point of no return is about to be reached. With the pressure increasing inside the magma chamber, the volcano erupts. And Azan is witness to a moment that will change his world. Within seconds of the eruption, pyroclastic flows of superheated gas and pumice spill down the flanks of Ilopango. Since he's outside this immediate zone of death, Azan survives the eruption. But the fiery beast has only just awoken. Ash and sulfuric acid aerosols now begin to spew out of the caldera. A noxious cloud rises more than 25 miles into the upper atmosphere, where it's carried by the winds and blankets the earth. Following the eruption, thousands flee their homeland. The question is, where would they escape to? For two weeks, Azan has walked through a desert of ash, and now there is nowhere else to go. No doubt, those who survived the Ilopango eruption suffered great personal losses. As many as 80,000 people were killed. It will be at least another hundred years before new settlers return.